championship. It's like, Shu's not there anymore, bud. Jim Ryan's not going to, you know, be cute and cuddly with you like Shu A. Did I ask you a question? I mean, I, I wonder what you think about this, because we've talked about it on the show on yes. Sacred. Do you think Shuhei was demoted? Yes. Hey, this is Al from Transformational Gaming. Appreciate you coming by. Appreciate you coming to the channel. Appreciate you liking the topics. And appreciate you giving me all the love that I've been giving over the past, I don't know, months, two months now. I really do appreciate that. And please continue to subscribe to the channel. Today, I want to give my thoughts on Shuhei Yoshida getting demoted. <laughs> Okay. Now listen, I've talked to Shu. Now I haven't done an interview or anything like that, but I've spoken to him over Twitter. Shu's a pretty accessible dude. Uh, I'm pretty sure he comes down and comes by the channel every once in a while and views these videos. And I'm pretty sure that happens a lot. But about a week ago, Colin and david jaffe now look i'm gonna say this real quick about david jaffe david jaffe runs an excellent channel over there uh, if you don't know who david jaffe is he is the author and creator of kratos and the god of war franchise and obviously well connected you know but he's like mike plazinski now you know he made a couple of titles that flopped uh, i think the t last flop he made was the twisted metal black that came out actually for the PS4. And since then, he's kind of spiraled into, you know, more of a character of himself, uh, which is okay because he's still getting money, you know, <laughs> and that's what it's all about. And now he's a, a YouTuber, and I'm pretty sure I haven't followed him on Twitter yet, but I'm pretty sure he's a great follow on Twitter. But with that being said, man, he, he has these like legendary interviews, and one of his interviews with another controversial character in Colin Moriarty and man excuse me if I mispronounce his last name I am not good at pronouncing Italian names I'm, I'm not Italian I'm black so <laughs> please excuse me for that but yeah but Moriarty he's a controversial guy I mean, he's a straight shooter I used to subscribe to kind of funny and to be honest with you when they let him go or, you know, he succeeded from the platform. Yeah, I stopped watching Kind of Funny. You know, it, it, to me, it wasn't typical go-along, get-along game. <laughs> and, it, you know, it didn't have any substance anymore once Colin left. So, so yeah, there's that. But I follow Colin. Colin is a great follower as well. So, please don't forget to follow him. But, and, you know, all the Kind of Funny guys, they kind of came from IGN. But digging into the topic, one of the conversations that was had on uh this this interview with david and colin they brought up the subject of shuhei yoshida and i mean they really said that this man was demoted and i find it hard to believe i thought he was the executive of the whole like playstation overseer of the playstation or the sony brand the sony of america or sony of japan or whatnot you know he was just kind of over the overarching Sony branch for our PlayStation's concerned. So that's what I thought. That's the last I heard of Shuhei's move within Sony. But now they have Jim Ryan, which is probably a good move. Jim Ryan is a good antithesis of what Phil Spencer's doing. And they're both American. And so I think with both of them being American, being white males, I think that's a good look for Sony because that is marketing toward the demographic who's going to be buying the playstation okay let's be honest with you it's not many people that look like me that's going to be buying the playstation it's going to be a lot of people who are white and who are males and who look cool <laughs> all right and jim ryan he's under that uh so so is uh phil spencer phil spencer he comes out there and he looks like a typical gamer, someone who was going to be, you know, on the streams and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure he gets all of his ideas for attire by looking at streams. So, you know, it's all about marketing. But regardless of the situation, I just think that it's weird that Shuhei has been demoted. Like, demoted? 
mean, I mean, what did Shu do that was so bad outside being Japanese, right? What did he do that was so bad to get demoted? I mean, Shu's the Sony brand was handed to Shu, and he took it from, all right, we coming back to, all right, we start from the bottom, now we here. They're now the prominent brand between Microsoft, who is the only real competition out there. Because I don't think Nintendo's competing for real. I mean, they still in the PS3 era. So, with these consoles, these new consoles that are out, there's only two really out there. And so, my thoughts are, what the hell happened? Because, to me, you would dance with the person who brought you here, which is Shu. And I think Shu is a amazing fixture and caricature of what Sony is. That's kind of how I look at it. It may not be the dominant perspective, but something went right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Something definitely went right. So, and I, I, I know Shu is, is an older guy, and that may be what they want to do. They want to get want someone who may be a little bit younger. I don't think Jim Ryan's that much younger than Shu, but he could be. But if he is younger, it's like two or three years. I mean, there's no way that Jim Ryan is, from what I see of him, looks... <laughs> that much younger so I, I i'm not necessarily sure why to change what happened with you if you guys have any questions about it i mean you can ask me but you can also go over there to david jaffe's channel i mean they go deep into it they don't necessarily say why he was demoted but they do go into what i was talking about as far as marketing is concerned you know they want a white guy out there promoting the sony brand and look for whatever reason they decide to go that way that's okay but i mean we all know this <laughs> even young people know that sony is a japanese company <laughs> and it's hard so and jim ryan hasn't been knocking the ball out the park i mean he's just riding the wave that shuhei makes i always thought that shuhei was kind of more in the background but he was still kind of running things uh, but he did say some say some tweets that kind of did make me wonder. I'm like, hold up, I thought you was in command of this ship. But yeah, they said that they gave him some indie studio or something like that, or some money for indies, and he's kind of over the indie project, which kind of does make sense because he he tweets a lot about uh, indie games. He he does some marketing for big budget games but i don't know man i guess it doesn't matter at this point who's in charge and who's not in charge i always looked at shuhei as like a leader he's a leader he's someone who you want to be in charge and have that outside look he was the guy who told the god of war producers and stuff to go in a different direction let's not do 2d no more let's go with 3d first persons second person third person it's just different as far as shoes ring and shoes ring has been totally successful in my view and i don't know exactly what they're doing with the playstation brand now but i i think that not having shoe be a part of the decision making is a grave mistake i mean you want to keep shoe and one of the things jaffe said in the interview and like again i would promote to have you guys go over to his channel because his channel is very informative especially being kind of a quasi insider i think that david jaffe knows what the hell he's talking about and it's it's a kind of a situation that you know having shoe over some some indies and 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 giving him a what they call a <laughs> a window desk like David said, he can go anywhere. That's a lot of company who can use Shuhei's expertise. So, Shu's a great guy, man. Shu's, <laughs> Shu's the man. Shu is the man. And running him out of Sony is not the answer. If you want to stay in this race, you want to definitely hit your wagon to what Shu wants. I mean, because, I mean, like I said, they putting him in a good light. Like, right here. I mean, this game came out in 2020. And you can tell, and you know, and the weird thing is, is I asked Shu, I said, Shu, have you ever been to Tsushima? And she, he said no. So, but, you know, to have enough heritage to talk and have guys like Dr. Kazato, right, <laughs> who's a historic guy, right, you know, to have the presence of mind to get someone like that to have some accuracy, you know, so you have a story to tell instead of just going off of some crazy cyberpunk type situation. 
to have the presence of mind to do that and shoot be in the middle of that to me when I first seen this video I'm thinking this makes sense <laughs> you know Shu was like a, a a quiet stakeholder as far as producing this game <laughs> you know it's, that's what it seemed like at least so anyway I, I don't know I've blabbered on about this enough I just wanted to put it out there that I think Shu's an amazing guy and Sony, I don't know what's necessarily going on. I will say this though, somebody needs to come out and clarify what they're talking about, to be totally honest with you. Because, you know, people gonna want to know. I'm expecting this video to have some type of legs enough to get to somebody so somebody can clarify this. Because, I'm just being honest with you, not having shoe at Sony I think it's a grave mistake so if someone out there can clarify that shoe if you out here if you can clarify what's going on from what I'm understanding from what it appears it looks like shoe is still part of Sony part of that executive brass so it's kind of confusing when I hear someone like David Jaffe who's like I said is a quasi insider for Sony say that some to some effect that shoe is gone I mean that is just that's just kind of devastating, man. So that's not that's not a good thing to hear. So I, my hopes are that we can get some type of clarity. But it, like I said, if y'all have any questions or whatever, feel free to ask me. If you want to really get uh, some context of what I'm talking about, go to David Jaffe's page. But here's hoping that it's not true that Shuhei is no longer a fixture in the company and decision maker in the company. I'm hoping that's not true at all. So, yep. And until then, the truth shall make you free. Have a good day.